Original versus Definitive, which version is better when completing Caesar Vial Pando? In this mission you talk to two angry individuals about hookers, travel to a mod garage, modify your new vehicle, drive to a lowrider meet, bet and enter the competition, bounce around and win against your opponent, and finally meet your sister's boyfriend. We'll compare tasks, execution, speedrun tactics and gameplay. Both games are vanilla, played on PC. My name is Bad Infos, leave a like and subscribe for more of the same. Now let's see how this mission compares between both versions. The first cutscene is in Sweet's house and it looks like Kendo is moving out. Apart from how different the characters look in the Definitive Edition, all I can say is that the house has changed a bit. We have new paintings, lots of new other items, the fans in the original don't work, but in the Definitive they're always on, looks like 24-7. <laughs> Since they're on in every single cutscene we have seen of the house. In this room there's no light switch, but in the definitive there is one. I could go on in detail about every single item, but there's no need, you can see what's missing on the screen. Let's talk about something more interesting, and that is the mod garage. In the original it's boring and empty. In the definitive it's full of all kinds of crap. Makes it look more professional, honestly, so I like it. When you enter the garage, you will see a brand new menu. It's not much more descriptive, but it's in my opinion much easier to use in the definitive. <laughs> of course, apart from the weird controls you gotta use, I mean T? Who uses T in a menu? The only big positive is how rims are displayed. Now you get a small icon about how a certain rim would look like in your car. In the original you gotta select it and then see what you have. Now let's talk about hydraulics, shall we? How do you activate hydraulics in the original? Each side has a button on the keyboard. Wanna jump left? Press the left one. Wanna jump forward? Press the front button. What do you use in the definitive? Your mouse! You press shift, then you move your mouse in the direction and your car bounces. This is a completely broken mechanic because if you accidentally press shift, which by the way is a very important button, and you decide to look around you, you flip over as you're making a turn. Also now if you wanna jump, you always have to have your hand on your mouse, preventing you from also looking around. I have no idea why this was accepted as serviceable even, because it's a disgrace to the game and all the PC players playing it. Oh wait, there's more! Remember the fun jumpy minigame where you have to jump to the rhythm? You see something on the screen and you press the correct button at the correct moment to get points? Well, it's pretty difficult because sometimes you get some very crazy combinations. How is it in the definitive? Every once in a while you get a prompt on the screen. You will never, never make a mistake. You will rank up 10,000 points by the end while your opponent sits not even at a thousand sometimes. You always get a perfect score no matter what. This minigame is not fun anymore. It's not exciting and does not reward good players in any way, since now it can be done by a toddler. In the last cutscene you'll see Caesar for the first time, a nice, good looking man, lots of tattoos, great facial features, I can see why Kendo would date him. Uh, in the definitive we get this plastic man who drew some drawings on himself with a marker. Seriously, what have they done to my boy Caesar? How is this acceptable? Oh, I'm getting frustrated, so let's move on to the speedrun section. Ho <laughs> but it doesn't get any better, guys. Do you know what they have done to nitros? In the original, when you activate a nitro, the screen blurs out, giving you this sense of speed. It feels like you're flying, despite there not being much of a difference in speed. Well, in the definitive, it's, it's gone. 
no more blur, now you can see how fast you're actually going, which is not much at all. Yeah, I know that some people don't like the blur, but come on, give us a little camera wiggle at least, something. This static crap is terrible. When speedrunners get enough points in the original, they pause and unpause the game. This activates a glitch where you take control of your car and can go forward or backwards to a degree in this section, resulting in some very funny moments. Well, of course the devs left a crap ton of bugs in the game, but this one in particular is not present anymore. Nothing happens when you pause the game, and even if it did, you bounce with WASD, so it would not work anyways. Oh guys, I know I sound frustrated and it's because I am! How the hell can this go through testing? San Andreas Definitive is massacred! Massacred so, so many flaws in this mission! And it's only one mission, can you imagine how many things we'll see later on? I don't even wanna think about it. If you're crazy enough to think that the Definitive Edition is better for this mission in particular, Tell me all about it in the comment section down below. Leave a like if you wanna see me torture myself with more San Andreas Definitive Edition videos. And I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching and a very special thank you to my top channel members and patrons. Monish Pradeep, Alex Chavez, Max Robinson, LMP Racing, House the Chowder, Max Rich, Smoke Kyo and everybody else on the screen. Become a supporter today.